Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, chassis work again, but then this time I get a lot of questions about the quick roof. Remember years ago I did the video on quick roof sound insulation for your Beetle and uh, for the most part I really don't put it on my chassis, but uh, on this one, this is a 1954 chassis, this is a car that I am restoring for myself this year. So I get the emails uh, from time to time when people are asking me, hey, do you ever put the quick roof on the floor pans? And in that video I did years ago, I did discuss putting it on the floors, but I actually wanted to show it to you uh, up here, up close and personal. Uh, and as you can see, here is what we did. Now my good friend Ramsey that comes in and helps us out every now and then here at the shop. Uh, the guy's got a good eye for uh, craftsmanship and being neat and tidy, which is what I like. And uh, he put this down for me. And he makes it look nice and neat. A lot of guys put this on their floors and they just kind of roll it on. It doesn't matter which direction and they just kind of cut it and make it fit right. Ramsey took his time to make this look really nice and neat. Yes, this will stop the vibration of uh, you know sound coming up from through the floors, from the road as you're driving. Uh, it's, it's great stuff. This will really quiet the ride. Um, and this is what you can do. Now again, if I had original floor pans here, so what I had to do, of course, was uh, you want to clean the surface, okay, you want to use either wire brush, wire wheel, uh, media blast, uh, we also have a steam blaster, steam power washer to steam blast, you want to get all, any oils, grit, grime, dirt, mud, gunk, anything of that nature off the floor pan it has to be a clean surface, and of course then we paint the surface, you can either use pour 15, or we use a, you can use a truck bed liner, or you can use uh, any sort of spray black paint if you want uh, just to give the surface nice and, uh, a nice look and you want to rust proof it so uh, that's what you want to do prior to putting down the quick roof now quick roof as I've mentioned before I have not seen it anymore at Home Depot now at Home Depot they have another material there called quick roof they call it quick roof on their skew but it's not called quick roof um, and it's not really quick roof <laughs> so uh, but what they have now at Lowe's, I found this at Lowe's now, it's called Peel and Seal. Same company, Cofair, that makes Quick Roof. And it's just the same exact thing, just with a different label. So I get this at Lowe's now, not Home Depot. Home Depot, I, I don't find this at Home Depot. So I gotta go to Lowe's now to get this. Or if you wanna go online, go to Amazon or eBay. This guy's selling Quick Roof or Peel and Seal, uh, whichever you like. But uh, just a quick video on uh, doing floor pans. Uh, with the sound insulation, it really does a good job of, uh, you know, soundproofing your car. Uh, you'll have a quiet ride. I mean, VW used to put sound insulation in the leader cars. Uh, it was a big tar material, tarboard type material that was also stuck to the floors. Uh, and that really helped. The early bugs like these 54s and stuff, such did not really have um, insulation uh, on, the, on the floors. But uh, it's a good thing to do. Um, and as long as you make it look nice, I mean, you could even spray on top of this. You want to spray that black so you don't want the silver look. Um, that's pretty cool, too, because a lot of people like to show off their floor pans, you know, pick up the carpet or pick up their mats and, and look at the detail of their floors. Uh, but uh, I'm going to cover this with carpet and such, so uh, I'm not going to really see there. But anyways, uh, quick tip here. It's early in the morning. I'm rambling. <laughs> and I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick shout to uh, some of my emailers asking me about using the peel and seal slash quick roof on your floor pans and this is basically how I do it. Um, and again, you want to get a roller to roll it on. You want to get it all nice and tight into the crevices. You don't want to leave any gaps. You don't want to leave any air bubbles, anything like that. You want to get it all nice and even and push it down into the ribs here on the floor pans. And believe me, your car is going to sound really nice and smooth and quiet. Alright guys, take care. Thank you.